Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Mario Kart Wii playthrough. Uh, this is going to be the last video of the uh, Grand Prix portion of the project. And we're going to be covering the last two cups. We're going to be covering the Lightning Cup and the Special Cup. Uh, so for this, uh, obviously I'm going to be using uh, one more character and then I'll be using the me for the last character. Uh, but I'm actually going to be going with King Boo for this because of all the heavyweights, he's probably the uh, most unique character. I guess you could say Rosalina as well, but I already used her and like, I mean, these two are humans, so... I'd say King Boo is probably the most unique, so... Let's go ahead and pick him, and honestly, I'm just going to go for the Flame Runner for both of these next two tracks, or next two cups, rather. Because honestly, I'm ready to kind of finish this out, and, uh, you know, I want to use the vehicle that I feel the most comfortable with, especially on what is considered to be the uh, hardest cups of the uh, entire game. At least in terms of where they're placed. Honestly, I don't think I have too much problems with these, but still, to some others, these could be uh, kind of tricky, I guess. <clears throat> so yeah, first up we have Mario Circuit 3 from SNES. Not much to say about this one, this is a pretty standard track. It's a pretty standard Mario Circuit track, I guess you could say. Oh, come on, I didn't hit those pipes. Game, you're being mean. <laughs> but yeah, this is essentially the final stretch of the main part of this project, because uh, definitely the other parts of the project will be uh, kind of more fun bonus segments, I guess. Well, it's okay. You know what they say. When you're behind like this, item farm. Item farm to win. That's all you have to do. Okay. Damn, we're with all the fake item blocks is right there. Looked like someone was trying to set a trap for someone else. actually have this. Just gotta be careful right here, and... Damn it, Mario! <laughs> Jeez, I have no idea where that burst of speed came from. He just kind of went flying right there. And I got unlucky that he actually went for the zipper, because sometimes they won't actually go for the zipper, which is kind of interesting. Sometimes they'll just, uh stay in the middle of the track and then you can just zoom past them. It's kind of the same thing in Ghost Valley too as well. They tend to try to avoid that zipper at the very end, but if uh, you don't, uh, you can uh, usually capitalize on that and get a good finish out of that. Okay, so next up we have Peach Gardens. Again, stand by. This is a pretty cool track. It really is. Like, again, I just kind of like the, uh, just the form of how you drive through this. Ah, especially the Flame Runner. I don't know if this is a track for the Flame Runner or if this is one that's better for the Spear. Because, again, they're both kind of, uh, they're the fast bikes of the heavyweight class. But I feel like, uh, with some of the turns, Flame Runner is the way to go. But there are a lot of sections where you just kind of go move straight forward, so I can see the spear being pretty good here, too. I feel like the worst part would probably be, like, right here, this part, at this point. Because you want to you wanna try to use a vehicle that can just go straight through that with the mushroom that you get there, but um, whether it's helpful through the whole thing, though, I'm not really sure. Again, I don't do time trials anymore, after all. 
That is no longer a thing I do with Mario Kart Wii. Okay, good. That was a good turn. That was a good break in turn. Where I literally braked at the very last second so I could not hit the wall. Also, if I was Mario, I would not be flattered by that, uh, <laughs> that hedge that's supposed to look like Mario. I think that looks pretty bad, honestly. <laughs> He's like, that's what she thinks of me? My god, why do I even rescue you? <laughs> to be fair, though, it does look like Mario. I mean, we know it's Mario, but... <laughs> kind of, a. Uh... Kind of a unflattering hedge sculpture, you have to admit. Wow, two red shells right there. What is this, Mario Kart? Oh, wait. <laughs> right, it is Mario Kart. Uh, I turn right here. Ha <laughs> ha! Stolen! Nice. Looks like Mario fell behind there, so, uh... Oh, wow, he really fell behind. Okay, well, this is good for me. <clears throat> and I did some research, and apparently you can still get a star ranking, even if you get, like, three firsts and a second. You just have to make sure that the uh, victory is very, very close on that last one, or the one where you got second. And that's kind of the way it was, uh... in Mario Circuit 3. Mario was didn't have a huge lead on me going into that last part, so I could get lucky on this. I hope so, anyway. I thought about using the uh, Piranha Prowler uh, with King Boo, but I really kind of feel like uh, I would have been missing a lot of speed, so I was like, ah, I'll just stick with the Flame Runner. But, like, I wanted to pick the Piranha Prowler because, uh... Uh, Petey Piranha was King Boo's partner, and he's not in this game, so... It's like, aw, well, let's have a... Let's have a tribute to his old partner who did not make it into this game. Because pretty much all the characters... With exception to, uh... PD Piranha, obviously, and Paratroopa. All the characters are in the game except those two, and you could almost make the argument that, like, Paratroopa, like, yeah, it, it's a different character. It's a Koopa that's red and has wings, but it's still a Koopa character, so you can kind of make the argument that, like, oh, well, don't really need that character, but then PD Piranha, they just straight up got rid of. He became a cart. He became the Piranha Prowler. That would be something. It's like Petey was the cart himself. Also rude. What did I do to deserve that game? Please tell me. Please tell me. I need to know. There we go. Okay. Final lap. Final lap and I have a decent lead, I think. Well, we'll know for sure after this cannon, because that's one thing I kind of like about the cannon, is you can actually kind of tell how far everyone else is in relation to where you are. It looks like Mario is the one that's behind me, but Mario, after that last race, he's not as much of a threat anymore. Whoa. Whoa, that was a good turn. That wasn't a good turn, but I'll still be okay, I think. Whoa, that was close. That's a Mario, what the hell, man? Yeah. Not sure what happened with that, but... Did he just do... Man, once again, he gets me on the last straightaway. 
He was probably wheeling that whole time, but you want to be careful when you're wheeling because um, I think I mentioned it before when we first started using bikes. But if you're wheeling and if someone runs into you, like you'll get knocked away. And on that bridge, <laughs> on that bridge hell right there, that is the last thing I wanted to happen. So I played that pretty conservatively even if it meant that I wouldn't be getting a... Uh, even if it meant I wouldn't be getting the last place or first place. I don't want last place. This isn't the Bowser minigames from Mario Party 9 where it's like lose to win. Be the first one to lose. They actually have an entire mode dedicated to that in Island Tour. Mario Party Island Tour. Don't really like that mode too much, honestly. But with that game, I seem to have like a thing where it's like whenever I want to win, I can't. But then whenever I want to lose, I can't either because for some reason the universe does not want me to get the W in that game. That should be an interesting playthrough. I'll try not to make it me just complaining about the game the whole time, though. That did probably uh, decrease the enjoyment of Mario Party 10 a lot, so... Try to be a little mindful of that. Okay, there's Mario. I want to be ahead of him. What? You are not supposed to stop there. That threw me off so badly. Okay, so I'm definitely not going to get a star ranking, though, because I got second twice, but, uh... If I keep this up, I'll be able to get first place on every single cup, even one where I tied someone else. But, I mean, that's just tradition at this point. Every, every Mario Kart project, I have to get a tie at some point. It happened in 64, it happened in uh, Super Circuit, I'm pr pretty sure it happened in Double Dash too, but uh, I can't remember that now. Damn Thwomps didn't get in my way this time. And I have a pretty good lead right now, too, so I should be okay. I say as I almost fall in the lava right there. I say as a blue shell is probably coming to get me at the moment. Eh. Cow block, close enough. At least everyone else got screwed by that, too. Whoa! I didn't even see that banana peel. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> that could have been really bad. And we win. Sorry, Mario. Looks like your princess is mine, yo. Oh, wait. It's Peach. Now you can have her. <laughs> I don't want her. I don't need her. Okay, well that's going to be it for the uh, Lightning Cup. There's our first place trophy. That's a pretty cool looking trophy, by the way. Oh, and there we go. There's a star ranking. Wow. Okay, so even though I got second place twice, I think I raced well enough to actually get uh, the star ranking. So that's pretty cool. Not going to lie. That's pretty cool. Well, with that being said, we only have one more uh, cup to go. Okay, and with that, I think it's time to play the last cup of the Grand Prix part of this playthrough. Now, for this particular cup, I think it's important that we use a character that's very, very important to the Mario Kart series. A character that, without this character, there would be no Mario Kart playthroughs. And that character is the one, the only, Slim Kirby. So here we go. We're going to be racing as Slim Kirby in this one. We're going to be using the Flame Runner and we're going to be going to Special Cup, the finale. 
we are going to end it on Rainbow Road, just as the way God intended it. So, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this, and let's do this proudly. So, yeah, here we go. Back to Dry Dry Ruins. Getting a very, very bad start. Don't even get the boost to get the things moving. But that's okay. We'll just cough it up to um, item farming, as we normally do. Also, because we are using the me characters, uh, you will be seeing a lot of me's in the backgrounds for a lot of these tracks. In fact, I believe on that Sphinx we passed by, that was actually Colonel Sanders, so... <laughs> you know, Colonel Sanders on the Sphinx in a dry desert ruin. Oh, and there's George Costanza, you know, the other... Uh, the other character very important to Egyptian culture. <laughs> Colonel Sanders and George Costanza. Oh god. So you may have noticed uh, whenever the Mies uh, do tricks or get boosts, they get very excited. You hear them say, Yahoo! a lot. That is uh, basically what you get with the Me characters. I still remember uh, when uh, I still remember when um, this game came out. And we were playing with like, you know, all my friends and everything. And I remember I even made a comment one time saying, "I don't sound like that." And then like all my friends like were talking to me like, "Wait, yeah, you do. You do sound exactly like that." And I mean, I guess in terms of like the tone of voice, like I have a very deep voice. These guys can have a pretty deep voice as well. I guess it makes sense, but. Uh, there's definitely a different pitch involved, but, uh, I guess tone of voice is kind of similar. I don't freaking sound excited all the time, but... That's just the way I am. I'm a very easygoing kind of guy. That's why a lot of people say they enjoy my videos, because I'm very chill and, uh... I don't overdo the excitement like other YouTubers do. <laughs> don't necessarily mean that in a negative way. Obviously, excitement has its perks. But, you know, there's definitely uh, some cases where it's overdone quite a bit. Okay, I think I got this race. I know it says I'm in second right now, but there's a very fun shortcut we have here. When I say fun shortcut, I mean cheap shortcut, that uh, I basically used to win right there. So hooray for that. <clears throat> okay, so let's move on to the next one. Next up we have Moonview Hellway. Or I guess Moonview Highway, whatever. <laughs> I guess it's not so bad. You just have to remember the way traffic works. If you stay on the side of traffic where cards are going with you, then you shouldn't run into too many problems. It's usually when you're going against traffic, that's when it can be kind of scary. Especially on turns, where if you turn and you run right into a car, you could lose a lot of time. But if you're smart about it and just try to stay uh, kind of on the right side of traffic, then you'll be fine. Also, you'll see more... Uh, more me's on the background. See, like, right there. I, I, There was no reason for me to be on the left side of traffic right there. I was pretty much asking to get hit by a car. And yeah, really, that's all you have to do. Just be smart and you'll be fine. Watch out for the bombs and the moo trucks. I literally went flying right into that moo truck right there. Okay. Okay, let's play this part a little better. There doesn't seem to be like any cars on here right now, so that's good. doing in front of me there. Is that Birdo? 
Damn it, Birdo. Why you gotta be doing this? Mario! Oh, thankfully, people hit a bomb right there. Oh, come on! I did not... I went out of my way to try to avoid that, and I still got hit by it. Wow, someone threw that, like, perfectly. <sighs> My god, I try to go for those items and I miss all of them. Ah, uh, that was not a good finish. I got really, really kind of, uh... I don't want to say jip because I definitely could have done that a lot better, but still. Ugh, that last lap was terrible. A very bad last lap after I did so well trying to avoid everything on the first two. Oh well. Those things will happen in Mario Kart, as I always say. That could have happened at a worse point, so I won't complain. I was getting ready to say, not a bad start for Bowser's Castle, but obviously we still have a few laps to go. We have a few laps to go, and there's like a lot of people in the same position on the leaderboard, so... I should never get too comfortable in first place, basically. at least in the book beforehand. What? What happened there? Oh, I guess I got hit by the lava. I was doing all the right things to avoid getting hit by that shell, but I still got hit by something else. I did not take advantage of that blue shell which hit the person in front of me. Okay. okay that's good. Someone probably fell off right there. focus right here. Probably just going to keep this red shell. Or not, because I lost it because of the damn pal block. Okay, I think I'm okay, though. Oh my god, that was close. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Uh, I think part of my ear burnt off from touching that freaking fire bar or whatever that was. Okay, I won that one. I have a decent buffer, but I'd still like to do better. 
can't really afford too many mistakes on this one. Who's, uh, who's second place with me? Okay, I think it's, uh, Mario. So I can't let Mario get too much of an advantage here. Any chance I can get to screw him over would be good. Damn it! Ugh. Yeah, I turned way too early there. Although, I didn't exactly lose my position at all. Which is crazy to think about. because I'm taking them way too soon. When I take them way too soon like that, I'm basically asking to make a mistake, so I need to be very careful. Okay, thank God everyone else got shrunk, so... Didn't lose a lot of time from that. I'm not even going to try to drift right here. There we go. See, that's all I have to do. I gotta stop doing dumb things and I'll be fine. Whoa! Where'd you come from, Dry Bowser? I don't think I invited you to this rainbow uh, race of fun and activity. Also, I almost just fell off again. I'm going to keep the shell behind me. Ouch. Oh, I'm in first place. How? Great! Bring on the blue shells, I guess. As is the Mario Kart tradition. Okay, come on, it's down the road. Stay on the road and do your thing, me. <laughs> okay, just have to bring... Oh yeah, I'm way far ahead right now. I think I'll be just fine. I'm not going to try to do anything stupid, but... I at least feel a little better about me finishing this. Did it! Alright. Whew! Okay. That will do it for Special Cup. And that'll do it for the Grand Prix mode. Alright, it got first on every single cup in 150 and Mirror. I did tie on one of them, but still, still gave me the victory, that's all that matters. Oh, I look so angry all the time. <laughs> also, I wish I could ride a motorcycle like that. Motorcycles scare me a little bit because, well, not because of the uh, tradition of motorcycles in my videos. But I've actually also known a lot of people who have gotten hurt from motorcycles, so it's like... They just seem very, very dangerous. In fact, one of my, like, favorite teachers from high school had a motorcycle accident, and, like... That sucked. 
really, really sucked. So, yeah. Motorcycles can be scary for me a little bit. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, Mario Kart Wii. And um, I'm, I'm not done with the project, obviously. I still have a couple of bonus videos I want to put out there. So, you know, this is definitely not over. But uh, I do want to give some closing thoughts. Uh, like I've said numerous times, this is the first time I've really extensively gone back to this game since I last played it. I don't even remember when I kind of put it down for a while. Because, uh, like, what? This came out in uh, 2008, I think? Yeah, I want to say 2008. I played it, a lot of it for the rest of that year, 2009, and maybe part of 2010 as well. Then there, I kind of put it down for an extended period of time. And then Mario Kart 7 came out, played that for a bit, then Mario Kart 8 came out, and that's like the only Mario Kart game I've really played. Aside from when I've done these projects, anyway, so, um... Yeah, like... It's been a while, it's been a time since I have played this game. And back in the day, like, I thought this was the best Mario Kart game, hands down, and, like, because of how much fun and entertainment I got out of this, I think it, for the long time, it remained my favorite Mario Kart game, even when 8 came out, and even if I see 8 as the superior game, I still have like a lot of fun with this one. Now, actually going back to it, I will admit, the interface definitely way more chaotic than Mario Kart 8, which is kind of hard to believe because it's just, it's Mario Kart, it's always chaotic, but it was really hard kind of adjusting this game again at first, especially since I tried to use a number of different vehicles with different stats and variances. That also made it very, very tough. but. Honestly, it, it was a lot of fun. It was still fun to come back to this. It's just kind of... It's an adjustment at first. Honestly, if, uh, any of one, if any of you guys were to come back to this game after a long time, I would really, really recommend uh, potentially playing on 50 and 100 CC first. Just to kind of get like back in the swing of things again, kind of get used to the speed, and then kind of build yourself back up to 150. And then I think once you do that, you'll feel right back at home. I just started from 150 right, right off the bat, and uh, it definitely uh, it definitely showed in a lot of those early races where I got like close to last place, but then still managed to come back and win the cup anyway. Also, screw freaking Camtasia for screwing up the second recording session, forcing me to do pretty much all of it over again because that was not fun. That was not fun in the least bit, but uh. Yeah, I got some more practice out of it, I guess. I did get a star ranking, too, and that's something, I guess, so... You know, you take what you can get, I guess. I, I think this is definitely a fun Mario Kart game, and I think it is still probably... It's in my top two, like, Mario Kart Wii and Mario Kart 8. Definitely at the top. Mario Kart's just a series that I think gets better the more it continues. Seven's a weird example where I think Seven is honestly a really good Mario Kart game, but I think it's also the one I've played the least of the current gen of Mario Kart, which I consider basically Mario Kart DS onward. It's definitely the one I've played the least. But I, d I definitely got some enjoyment out of it when I played it a lot, just I didn't play it as much as uh, Wii, and obviously I've played so much more in 8, so... It'll be interesting going back to that game. Uh, which probably won't be until either the end of this year or next year. Probably next year. This might be the only Mario Kart game I do this year, honestly. But I will get to 7, and I will get to 8 following shortly after that. So, uh, we'll actually be caught up on Mario Kart before you know it, honestly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for uh, this part of the playthrough. I'll see you guys next weekend where... Uh, let me go ahead and go here. I'm going to go to single player, obviously. Yeah, I might actually uh, do some time trials. Uh, like I think I said before, if I do time trials, I might actually showcase a few of my uh, best times on some of the old tracks from when I used to do time trials a lot. And then I'll, of course, do a segment on versus mode. I'll do a segment on battle mode. I'll make sure I show off everything here. And uh, I'll try to find a way to fit in some explanation on the... Uh, Wi-Fi and Mario Kart channels, but again, there's not much I can do there because I think you have to have the uh, 
Wi-Fi enabled, which, uh, unfortunately, is not a thing anymore. So, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. This has been Slim Kirby. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you guys uh, next weekend for some bonus content, and after that, uh, the end of the project. So, uh, talk to you guys later. Later, folks.